100 million years ago, Earth was a home for a lot of unfamiliar and weird-looking creatures. Today, we would call them aliens, because they look like out of this world. One of these aliens was the extinct cockroach family Alienopteridae. This was a very diverse and chaotic family of insects that occupied a lot of available niches. Some species were omnivores, others were predators, and also these fellows took the challenge and occupied so-called experimental niches at the time. Presumably, these roachoids were one of the earliest pollinators, as the angiosperms evolved in the Cretaceous period as well, and they were one of the earliest if not the first insects that were practicing mimicry of other insects, specifically ant mimicry. Before I tell you more about these strange extinct critters, I wanted to mention how do we know about their past existence. Insect fossils are commonly found in the form of so-called adpression fossils. Alienopteridae are not the exception for that, as the scientists did discover them in the fossil deposits in the Cretaceous Crato Formation in Brazil and the Eocene Green River Formation in the USA. And these look cool, they have quite a bit of features neatly preserved, which helped paleoentomologists to describe this species. Apart from adpression fossils, a high majority of Alienopteridae species were discovered inside fossilized tree raisin, called amber. Amber is called the window to the past for a good reason. Preservation of specimens in amber represent a totally new level compared to those preserved in limestone. Myanmar amber, also called as burmite, holds the most discoveries of Alienopteridae species, 15 to be exact. That's more than half of total known Alienopteridae species out of 21. And there is one more amber deposit that recently discovered this amazing roachoid. That deposit is located in Hungary, the Ica Col Formation. The oldest fossil deposits from where Alienopteridae roachoids were discovered are from the Cretaceous period. We don't have any fossil record of these creatures before that, meaning, as of right now, Scientists think that the Alienopteras did evolve in the Cretaceous more than 100 million years ago in the Albion Age, and that was the time when the Earth was still dominated by the dinosaurs. Quite exciting! And at the same time many other plants and insects evolved too. That includes the angiosperms and the ants, that's gonna be important later. Judging by the fossil deposits, we see what kind of environment Alienopteras have preferred. Crato formation paleo environment was wetlands. The Aika formation was a tropical swamp. And the Myanmar amber deposits came from the semi-tropical rainforest. Meaning, these roachoids preferred moist ecological environments with rich vegetation and lots of foliage. Cockroaches have proven themselves to be the ultimate survivors. They have been present in Earth's ecosystems for roughly 320 million years, way longer than the famous dinosaurs, and have practically changed little since their appearance. The saying, don't fix it if it's not broken, perfectly describes their evolutionary journey. They survived all the extinction events that wiped out 99% of all the living animal species. After that, the conquest of human inhabited areas was not a challenge for them. Cockroaches are disliked by the majority of people because of their associations with unsanitary conditions. But these fellows deserve the admiration and the attention. There are thousands and thousands of described species of the modern living cockroaches and from the fossil records. And during the last 320 million years, these super insects have adapted to a wide range of ecosystems and developed a high degree of ecological, behavioral and morphological diversity. During the course of their evolution, there are now aquatic, pollinating, decomposing, jumping, mimicking, camouflaging, transcluent, aposematic, parasitic, predatory, poisonous, 
eusocial, virus infection symptomatic, cavernicolous and brachypterous cockroaches. In some of the scientific articles, Alienopterids were mentioned to be ancestors of roaches, but that's not quite right. Alienopteridae evolutionary tree is a lot of mambo jumbo, mess on the highest level. First Alienopteridae member was discovered in 2016. It was named Alienopterus brachiolitrus. The specimen closely resembled an ant and had a weird triangular head. It was assigned to its own new order called Alienoptera. Later, an adult from the same species was also discovered, and the previous find turned out to be a nymph, a juvenile individual of the species, and that changed everything. Adults had a lot more cockroach-like features. At first, scientists thought that the adults were a cockroach mantis transitional form that eventually was an evolutionary dead end. Eventually, Alienopteridae family was moved into superorder Dysteoptera. The order contains cockroaches and the mantises, meaning they were not the ancestors of the cockroaches, or for the mantises, but that meant all of these orders had common ancestors which they evolved from. And in the latest researches, they were placed in superfamily Umenocoleidae, together with beetle lake roaches called Umenocoleidae inside the order Blatodea, within Dysteoptera superorder. This makes them true cockroaches. Oof, I know that sounds tiresome, but bear with me. For at least now, this is it. They are sitting in the Blatodea order as a weird alien-like true cockroaches. In larval state, some of the alienopterid nymphs look just like regular cockroaches, with exception of big heads and eyes. Other closely resembles ants and wasps. Seeing adults that look like mantis cockroach hybrids, no wonder that paleoentomologists at first had a hard time figuring out where to put them in the evolutionary tree. Their sister taxon, Umonocoleidea, weren't any easier, as at first they were placed in order Coleoptera, the order of beetles, because of their similarities to the beetles instead of the cockroaches, but we will talk about these troublemakers in another video. Scientists think that some of the Alienopteridae species were pollinators, and consuming pollen was at least part of the diet of some of the species. We have very direct evidence to support this theory. There is ember specimen that has trapped an Alienopterid nymph inside that was covered with pollen grains. This Alienopterid nymph displays unspecialized biting mouth parts, which are similar to the mouth parts of cockroaches. This indicates that it was likely omnivorous and could use pollen as one of possible food source, which is supported by the attachment of pollen grains to the mouth parts, antenna, sides of the thorax, and the abdomen. This situation is the same as in extant pollinating Dysteopteras where pollen grains can be observed attached to the mouth parts, legs and abdomen. Pollen grains were identified to belong to the genus Monosulcites, which most likely belonged to the Cicadales and Benititales plants, as these were abundant in the Cretaceous period. Gymnosperms pollination in fossil record is extremely rare and only five insect pollinator lineages with gymnosperm associations have been documented in the fossil record, one species of Coleoptera, one of Diptera, one of Mecoptera, one of Neuroptera, and one of Thysanoptera. In amber, however, tiny inclusions like pollen can be identified with ease. This discovery provides the first possible direct evidence of gymnosperm pollination by a fossil Dystopteran and represents a previously unknown gymnosperm insect association. It might be the sixth insect pollinator lineage with Mesozoic gymnosperm association and the only known fossil example from the Polyonoptera, which is one of the major lineages of winged insects. There are a few Alienopteridae species that are thought to be predators. Coporaptor elegans is one of them. 
adults of this species body length could reach up to one with a half centimeters. They had very movable triangular head with big compound eyes, similar to mantises, which indicates that these species were the predators. Also, they had very unique body adaptation never to be seen in any other cockroach species, called Cephalothoracic scissors. Scientists think that the possible function could have been stabilizing each other during mating. Other function could be predaceous one, to catch and squeeze the prey between the head and the thorax while devouring it. Before moving to the next specimen, I wanted to share one more thing. In the video about the hell ants, I showed one of the hell ants trapped in amber with some sort of roachoid between its jaws. The unfortunate insect was Coporaptor elegans nymph. While adults were predators, its nymphs were the prey for other predators. That the circle of life 100 million years ago. Alienopterella stigmatica is another species from Alienopteridae family that is considered to be an active predator of small invertebrates, occupying trees or bushes with suitable foliage. This species was a lot smaller compared to the Coporaptor. They measured about 6 with a half millimeters as an adults, and they had some familiar mantis-like features, triangular, highly movable head with compound eyes, and also had a brush-like structures on the legs to clean their big eyes. Alionopterus brachialitrus was another mantis roach-like form that had body length up to one with a half centimeters and had same features as stigmatica species, triangular, movable head and so on. No wonder this family of insects were called Alienopteras. Appearance of these cockroaches are very chaotic, chimeras composed of different insects' body parts in one organism. And similarly as mantises, were capable of flight, wasn't the best flyers out there, but they could fly nonetheless. More than 2000 living species of insects and spiders representing 11 different arthropod orders have an altered morphology and behavior to resemble ants. This phenomenon, called Myrbecomorphy, has evolved at least 30 times among arthropods. Myrbecomorphy hides the avoidance of predators, since ant workers are usually aggressive, well armed, distasteful, and in some occasions are sharing food. The fossil record of Myrmecomorphy is extremely sparse. To date, the earliest definite record of Myrmecomorphy in insects is an ant mimicking longhorn beetle in Miocene Dominican amber, which is 20 million years old. Now we have direct evidence of the very start of this ant mimicking behavior. Aethiocernus nymphs are close resemblance of Spetsimirmin worker ants. Body length of Othiocernus nymphs is around 5 mm, which is the same as these ants. Length of antennas and legs is also comparable to that of Spetsmirmin legs and antenna. Adults of this species, however, look very different from the nymphs, so mimicry in adults are excluded. We can look at modern crown mantises, which nymphs mimic ants for protection, while the adults with lacking or only indistinct morphological similarities sometimes feeds on the ants. There is a possibility that adults of Alienopteridae nymphs could also prey on the ants that were protecting them before, but there is no direct evidence for that. We have some specimens of amber where other insects were preying on Alienopteridae nymphs. If we have one, where a hell ant was holding nymphs of one species of Alienopteridae and one specimen where Neuroptera larva was holding one as well. Both specimens are direct evidence of Cretaceous predator-prey relationships of Alienopterid nymphs. The diversity of predators suggests that predation pressure might have been the reason that led to the evolution of ant mimicry in the case of some Alienopterid nymphs. Other than ants, there are some potential evidence that Alienopteridae roaches might have mimicking some species of wasps as well. 
There is one more Alienopteric species I wanted to mention called Alienopteryx santonicus. It was discovered very recently and it was published a few days before the end of year 2022. Personally, this species for me was quite important for a few reasons. It was discovered in Europe. The single discovered Alienopteridae find from the Europe. More precisely, Hungary, Icacol formations. Ember in these formations are dated to be from the late Cretaceous, more precisely from the Santonian stage. Another reason is how rare the Aikaita ember itself is. The ember pieces came from the mining operations in the coal mine, which ceased its operations in 2004. Hence, there is no more ember coming from the mine, and only few private collection stones and museum specimens are available for scientific studies. Meaning, amber from Ica is very rare, and it is a shame because it's rich in flora and fauna and it's hugely understudied. And the Elenopterid roach itself that was discovered is quite cool. It was most likely a pollinator and scientists discovered that the micro-rectangular structures of the forewing suggest that the new species likely possessed a metallic coloration already known from the group. Combined with the disruptive body pattern, this could have served as an advanced camouflage. Also, that it was discovered in Hungary extends the rich geographical distribution of the family into Laurasia during the Mesozoic. Huge thanks for all the scientists that contributed in the researching and describing these amazing extinct cockroaches, including Peter Vershansky, Marton Sabo, Piotr Kocharek, Cihang Luo, Ming Bai, Jan Hinkelman, George Poinar, and many others. This video wouldn't be possible without their amazing research. And yeah, that's about all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed learning about these extinct weird alien roachoids from the past. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I have made already quite a lot of ember related content. Consider taking a peek on one hell of an ant video if you haven't seen it already. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!